Take your photos and videos if you can do them. Um, because half people can't make it. Now, these, these guys are called the virtual TCLs. They're on Facebook and they can't be here. So I've got Brian. Uh, who else we've got? Um, Tim Brooks in the USA. Uh, who seems to spend most of his time gallivanting between Washington and San Francisco. God, no, he must have a hell of a job. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jenny Tan, who's in D Dubai, a lot of you remember Jenny? And uh, she was our, actually our receptionist, yeah. and um, she uh, got into IT through Telecom, and she's now a software developer, I think, someone like that in Dubai, and she's doing really well over there, and she sends a big hello from the, um, you know, from there. Um, who else we got? Uh, Monique Mackay, Monique Rillo, so we remember Monique. And Marcel, her brother, they, they they lived across the road from me in Island Bay, and they sort of got into telecom through me. And I don't even may not know that, but uh, I used to get Marcel part-time work sort of doing cabling and all that, and uh, that's how they got there. And many, I think, ended up marrying a guy from an engineer who was from yeah, Sir John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they live in Ontario, I think. So she says hello. Montreal. Oh, Montreal, sorry. Yeah, close. It's in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, um, Jim Mackle, Jeff Menzies, Wayne Hunsworth over in Brisbane, he couldn't make it along. Paul Rennie, and there's probably a few others I've left out maybe out. So this, you know, but it's, it is a big family. And I'd like to think too that now we've established the networks, possibly we can carry on, I don't know. Maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a bit of a dreamer. But uh, and I'll get all your emails by the way, so I won't spam you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a couple of other things. Um, I mentioned about the photos. I, I do want to thank Spark for coming off to party tonight. I really do appreciate it. Jamie's already thanked him, but uh, it has really made a big difference. And uh, instead of me having to stand by the door extracting money from me, um, Spark can come along and they've got some lovely equipment behind, behind Richard. Um, perhaps, um, you know, it's, I think it's um, a whole cell site there. And it's their new sort of 4.5G equipment, is it? It's 100 megabits a second. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so it's fantastic stuff, and it's been used in Queenstown now. And one, one gigabit. One gigabit. Oh, you're right. One gigabit. You said, yeah, all right. <laughs> 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 I needed that at work the other day. <laughs> um, and also, um, you know, I also want to thank Ensor and Charmaine over here, who uh, works for Michael, who's, who's stepped into the rich, and she's done lots of well, so we really helped out. So thank you, Charmaine, for your help and surrender again, so it's been really good. We do have some caps that we've started to remember the night by, as well as all the photos and memories and lots of stuff, so we'll be handing those out later. And uh, they're properly branded, they went through the branding department and they survived, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Um, look, I just, I'm just gonna end now because Joe's around me, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> I just hope everyone has a great time. Now we have got some 80s music, Later on, 1987, more specifically, I've got three hours of 1987. <laughs> and, and I was running out of time, and I did it work the other day, and I flew my mobile plan, I went for a gig and a half of data. <laughs> and uh, and that's, look, I worked for a government department in 1995, which had 200 people and an IC IT manager, and we went for a gig and a month of data. Which just says it all about, you know, more sort of networking, which is very steep. And it's just a really prime example of just where we are now with, with data, it's just incredible. So, um, we've got those later, so who's got their dancing shoes on? Yay! I have. So we're going to wrap that up and, uh, and hopefully have a good time. So, um, look, have a good night. And as Brian said, enjoy the reminiscing, and enjoy the memories, and uh, hopefully we can you know, create some new friendships with us and have a good time. So, uh, enjoy the night. Here's Jamie. <laughs> So Graham and I are so well coordinated, he's covered a couple of the, um, yes. you know, the shout outs that I wanted to make as well, so we'll leave those behind. But one particularly from Brian, he and I had a chat, we, we meet up quite often, he's uh, back and forth in Brazil, and of course he's got two homes now. Um, but he wanted to reinforce what I uh, thought about when thinking about tonight. That the sales and marketing team, we had the easy job. I mean, yes, Neville was absolutely right, I had lawyers and doctors and whoever else saying you'll never get me having one of those electronic dot coms what a waste of space so it was yeah that's, it was tough in some ways but it was the easiest product to sell and chris mcintosh the sales and i think people that are here will know that we had an easy job the people i'd like to shout out on behalf of brian and i especially tonight are the engineering team the customer service team anybody else who worked in the infrastructure side of the business you guys were the people who made it all possible and we had the best job in the world uh, going out there representing you all to, to actually make this product work uh, in terms of getting it sold in the market. So thank you all sincerely from Brian and I. He'd love to have been here as, as uh, Graham said. So with that said, I've just got one piece of research which I think is really important that you hear about. And it's not research I did. But it says, are we addicted to smartphones? And some survey results to ponder. 
50% of respondents would choose to have a broken bone over a broken phone. <laughs> <laughs> The top 10% of smartphone users check their phones over 5,000 times a day. 58% of men, wait for it, 47% of women suffer from nomophobia, the fear of being without a mobile. And uh, I, this one I don't know why it's in here, but 20% of young adults have admitted to checking their phones during sex. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the organizing committee, Brad, surrender again, and thank you all for being here. Go back into enjoying the discussions and some of you. Thank you very much.